Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and welcome to our challenge today. We're going to do something different on this channel. I'm participating in Tino's challenge there at Shabby Dabby Duda. It's Tagtastic episode one, and what she did was she took some tags and applied hearts. So I have many hearts and I cut them. I made my own template. I also just freehanded cut some because why not? These are painty pages I made, so I'm going to incorporate some of that. Um, I'd cut some hearts out of music paper, and I also cut some hearts out of digitals. And I confess, I specifically went on my computer and looked for images that I thought would be nice. And as I suspected, some of them are a little bit too large. I didn't measure before, so... Anyways, this one will be super huge. Wow. Yeah, I really went on the large side. Okay, so I have this tag here that's made out of book page and I did sew around the edge. Then I have this very plain tag that I made out of... Um, file folder. I was hoping it would be a little sturdier, but it is not. Okay, what else? I've got some more tags that I have undecorated um, using book page. Let's see if I can find some quick here. It's another one that I decorated the other side, so that would be a good one to use. Okay, I think what I'm going to try and do is do a few different uh, kinds. So, just limit it. This one I used a master board, so that side is... The side can be used for decorating, and then the other side could be used for journaling. Um, this one, I'm not sure. I cut some, um, what was that, chipboard? I could probably um, glue this to one of them. I made a whole bunch, and they're all roughly the same. How about that? What I don't really like is the, the shiny part. So, excuse me a second while I sand down the shiny. Okay, there's still some shiny, but I think what I'm going to do is attach this and then just trim it down. Although I could just use some pretty paper. Wouldn't have to be um, file folder. What have I got? This is the one my husband found for me at the dollar store and it's very thin. I could easily pick A paper from here to decorate the back with. Dragonflies, why not? The thing is, are my hearts, are any of my hearts this color pink? Actually, that would go. Nice. 
All right. Okay, I'm just gonna move a few things out of the way. Okay. What I want to do though is just smush out the glue because I don't want it to make those um that pattern even if I smush it down with a card later on I still seem to have that that glue pattern in there from how I placed it on here so I'm just gonna do this push it out or smooth it spread it out with my finger and then I will put this on here And then I will use my bone folder to smush it down. And I might have to do the other side as well because the other side's not very pretty either. But yeah, so Tina was doing these and it was at the point of the hearts, I guess, that I was convinced that I wanted to do this. So I'm a little behind. The challenge started a few days ago already, but I'm not in it for the prize, so I'm just in it for the experience of actually doing a challenge. All right, so then why not take another nice piece? That way I'll have a choice of which one, which side to decorate. I kind of like this one. We get some of that writing in the back. I kind of like that side too. Hmm. What will we do? I had to change the opening on my glue because I bent my needle. And so it no longer fit in the small opening. <laughs> I do prefer the smaller one because it gives me better control as to how much glue I put where, but oh well. I'll probably get some more pins. All right. I will move this away for now. And I don't know, I guess this side one. So this one will probably take a little bit of time to dry. So after I trim it down, I will probably move to a different tag that's ready to decorate and then come back to this one. Have you participated in any of the challenges on YouTube? How was your experience? Did you enjoy it? What's stopping you? Like for myself, it was, I just didn't feel like I had the know-how or the, I don't know, I just 
didn't feel really capable or confident. But we can take a challenge and make it our own. And so I think that's what I'm coming away with. It's nice to see people do things, but then um, after a while you start to, and there's nothing wrong with imitating others' ideas either. It's just if you can get your own way and come up with your own spin on things, there are just more ideas out there to share, which is nice as well. Okay, so I'm just going to try, try, try. No, it's too thick. Does not like it. I think I'm just going to snip off the corners there. I'm really not a fan anymore of the right angle corners. Okay. Got a hole in that one, so that's good. I'm going to let that dry for a bit. Come back to that one. All right, so then I don't really like this one. I made this myself and I don't know, maybe it's the angles. Not really fond of that, but I already have the hole in there. You know what? That's okay. I can work with that. There, look at that. I made a drastic change. And now, it looks a little more manageable. I just gotta ink the edge again. Easy peasy, look at that. So yeah, I collaged on this one, book page and coffee dyed or dyed paper. I think I used food coloring and some printables that didn't quite work out. So that's that side. And then there's this side. I think I'm going to decorate this side first anyways. Um, so I printed out a whole bunch of scenarios here like I got some different, um, I don't know. I thought I had some really cool ideas about what I wanted to do. I have not, um, I have not inked any of the hearts yet. Okay, so for one thing that I thought of was to do like a wrap around. I could probably do that with a smaller one or with a bigger one. And I'm just making this up as I go, so. don't think that I spent a lot of time thinking this out because I haven't really. Um, one thing I did want to do is um, grab my heart punch. I wanted to grab my heart punch and with some of the scraps that I have here I wanted to just get some different sized hearts going. That way I could add, you know, other things.
So yeah, just stuff like that or, you know, use your scraps. Why not? And then... I did have this one decorated or painted on both sides. Huh. I thought I liked the green side better, but I'm thinking the brown side actually matches the heart better. And the heart needs to be folded in half if I'm going to do this. Okay, so the difference is which side. If I use this, um, if I use it folded that way, then it will go on that side. And if I use it on the green side, it's one of those things that, you know, it's just a matter of how you like it. Cause Both of, both of the heart sides look like they blend in because I've got brown and green on the actual tag, so. Oh, decisions. Okay. What I'm going to do is use this side of the heart, but I'm going to apply some of this, um, what is it called? Luster wax. It's got the smell of orange essential oil, which I like. Um, if I didn't have that, I would use um, either a gold marker, like a metallic marker, or I could use um, watercolor. Or acrylic paint anything really anything with the gold color just using a designated brush that I have for that I can do both sides because why not just want a little bit of a uh, little bit of a framework there I guess I like hearts that's one of my favorite things okay that looks actually quite nice a little debris on there okay Done. And two, this stuff dries really fast, whereas acrylic paint and watercolor would take a little longer. All right, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna put the glue down the middle. Because I can make like a tuck out of that. Well, okay, that turned out to be rather messy. Okay, pardon me while I try and clean this up. Okay, pardon me, that was um, the gold wax that was staining my um, surface here and my hands. Okay, so what I was thinking, I will glue this side down. And then this side, just a little bit. A 
Maybe a little more. That way it can be, it'll be a bit of a tuck, tuck spot. Okay, then what else? It's looking still a little bit plain. I feel like I want something else on the edge. I'm used to sewing my stuff now, so when it doesn't have anything on the edge it looks really plain to me um what what shall i do i'll decide later worst comes to worst i might do like a faux stitching okay so let's see i like the music paper idea i was thinking we could like do a little cluster on top of the the tuck spot just to add a little weight to it um. like a cluster and then let's see how that would work let's say I wanted to put something in there like I don't know another heart and I could stick that in there like so. Or a little message like, Love came down from John 316. Like so, that would be perfect. Okay. So, let's build on our tuck spot here. And there's no rule that says you have to have the hearts. Um all facing like one direction or anything. So I'm going to do that. How much glue did I put on here? Because I wasn't really thinking. Let's see if that still works. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there to be like a placeholder and then I don't know a few smaller hearts since I have the brown going there Have the punch but it's really small hoping for a little bit bigger yeah I got a little bigger so I want to thank Tina at shabby dabby doodah for making all the videos because um, well, the way she puts it, she doesn't really make anything complicated. Oh, yes. I have other flowers here yet, too. This way, it's a graduating heart scenario here. Hearts. I think they're a lot of fun. Yeah, it's almost like a slide of hearts here. Nice. Oops, oops, oops. I inked all the rest and forgot the little baby one. There. Like so. And then 
maybe what I'll do is turn the corners on this one. Ink it. And give it a home there. There we go. And then I think I'm going to ink the outside a little darker. Now the back is really white. Alright, what are we going to put at the top here? Um, some ribbon would be nice. That wouldn't be too bad. I have something in mind. I'm going to take these three. different lengths okay so then I have the three loops in the back there come in line up and then we're going to feed the ends through Every time I use this, I think of grass now because um, <laughs> well, look at it. <laughs> just, okay, I'm going to just trim them up a little, angle them. I just really wanted something. Um, a little more substantial than one thread or one string there. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's one. Should we do another one? I guess we kind of need to finish the um, one we started with. This one. I'm going to leave that for the journaling part. And we're going to decorate this side. So the other idea I had was to uh, make sort of a like a belly band I don't know if I want to use all the same ones or different ones so basically what I'd end up doing is first attaching the hearts to each other I like that one Attaching the hearts to each other, not necessarily in a straight line either. Right now, I'm just kind of measuring to see how many hearts I would need to pull this off here. choices so if I kind of I don't know I feel like I want them slanted again just to so I can make a larger belly band and showcase more hearts something like that I have to leave the Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm going to ink my Okay. I'm 
just putting it there for placement so that I can see where where the hearts need to connect. All right, so I'm going to put glue on the top part here and put it right about there. Then I'm going to put glue over here. Something like that. And then glue down here so I can play a little bit here. Something like that. And then I want to ink this first. Okay, so then just put glue on top and at the bottom. Probably a little much, but that's okay. So, all right, so that is technically a belly band and we can put something in there as well. There, be the light. We could put another heart in if we wanted to. Probably should let that dry. That would work. So that could be an added, like a, a journal spot. All right, something for the top there. Um, I think this time I would like something lacy. I have a little scrap of this left. Hmm. And that's why I have scraps, because I don't think these things through ahead of time. I want to put like a bow in there. So maybe I will put this in first. I think what I'm going to do is make another one. I want this one because of the colors. And I need a hole in there.
Okay, so I could make these into pockets. Why not? I'll just glue down the bottom half. So they'll be slanted. That's okay. All right, so there's that. I'm looking for my closure for my glue here. Okay, there's that. What I was thinking, I might put like a word strip or something. Word strip or label. Stop, relax, and enjoy. That could work. There's a smaller version of that one. I think that actually might work good. Ah, here we go. Here's another small one. Set your heart on things above. Oh, that works perfectly because hearts. And I like it there because things above. I do have some backing left. Oh, let's try this. Sometimes these little strips come in handy. Almost like that side better. What stands out more? That one. All right. It's these little word strips and little details that make things fiddly for me and then they make the video longer so okay all right i'm just gonna do it On the edge here living on the edge all right okay so then we need something for there well, I think that's close enough it might work this from the thrift store so why not use it So I am back. I have three tags and a couple of empty pockets that need something in them. So that's just an example of something that could fit in there. And even a smaller one for up top here. There we go, three tags, three different sizes. I wanted a smaller one up here. Three different ideas, the tuck spot, the belly band, and the double pocket. So 
I like those. I hope you got some ideas. And um, I have a lot of hearts left, so I'll probably be using them in some other projects. But for today, that's it. Thanks for joining, and uh, God bless, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.